Hey guys, welcome out to the channel today. We're gonna to be uh, working out here in the dog lot a little bit. We're gonna make a really super simple shelter for the dogs. Um, I got a shelter already, but uh, it's not the best and I wanna kind of upgrade it. I went to Tractor Supply and picked up something called uh, cattle panel fencing and it's 16 foot long by about 50 inches in, uh, in width. And uh, I also grabbed a tarp so uh, with some other little bit of items, we're gonna go ahead and make this shelter. All right guys, so what I'm starting off with is a uh, really, really big pallet. This is was a uh, eight foot or a 12 foot lawn. It's five and a half feet wide. And I cut it down to uh, eight foot to uh, be able to use that cattle panel correctly. So what we'll end up doing is putting in a little block on this side one on the other side as well to uh, keep the uh, fencing in its proper place we're gonna go get those cut this is like a super muddy time of the year it's the worst time trying to do stuff in the yard but uh this is something i've been wanting to do for a while so we're gonna get it done today All right, so we got the two braces set. They've uh, gotten screwed in uh, three or four screws per side. And uh, I did it on, I screwed it on the inside because all the pressure is going to be pushing away from it. And if you put it on the outside, it would have a tendency to try to roll back over. You could do it from both sides, but I just did it on the inside for right now. And uh, now we're going to try to get this fence put in place. That'll work. Um, one option that I like having with the pallets is that I can get um, some kind of rope and I can actually anchor the fencing right down to the uh, pallet instead of just leaving it like that with, uh, with the tarp which we're going to be putting on in the uh, next step. Alright so what I got here is an 11 foot by 19 foot uh, tarp. This is the nine millimeter tarp that you can get at uh, Harbor Freight. I think it was like $18 with uh, uh, one of the coupons. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, throw this up and over. As you can tell, it's gonna be a little bit longer. This is 19 foot, the fence is only uh, 16 foot. So we'll have a little bit of overhang on each end, which is completely fine. I'll be able to tuck it up underneath the uh, pallet and secure it even more. And then I will have some hanging off of the backside as well. All right guys, so here is where we currently at. We've gotten the shelter all the way up. And because we're using the pallet wood, you don't want the open slots in the floor or else the dogs can break their legs possibly by stepping in correctly. So I've gotten all these pavers that I've had for quite a while and uh, we are repurposing them as the flooring for this. So you got the pallet, which keeps the 
uh, dog area up off of the ground if it does rain and when they're out here and then you got the pavers so that they don't step in any of the holes so this is almost completed we got to finish filling in the sections right here and uh, then we'll look at it again so there is the whole entire dog patio I guess you would like to call it uh, that is all completed and uh, what's next is just adding some fresh bedding to their dog houses Alright guys, the uh, patio slash dog shelter has been completed. They're already in it and uh, playing around in the new houses, new shavings. You like it? So there you guys go. Uh, simple, easy uh, dog shelter made just from uh, some kettle fence and a tarp thanks for checking out the video today hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys found it useful and actually try it out uh, this is very simple costs about fifty dollars to do thanks guys for watching hit that thumbs up button if you guys are new welcome hit that subscribe button check out all the other videos i make we'll see you guys on the next project